stitches it's Rachel from Moonlight Stitches hope you're all well and this is I'm not sure what day I'm on but we're gonna do a cute little spring lamb for our bunting um, as always the pattern is absolutely free and you can find it on the website and the links below so head over there and you can print that out um, but I will say you might not want you might not need the pattern because you might want to sort of go off piece a little bit it's it's entirely up to you uh, but let's let's um let's do something with this one so i've cut out my pieces and i've literally if you can't print out just it's like i've literally done a cloud <laughs> so easily easily transferable i suppose i'm going to put them there i think i'm just going to draw around that onto here roughly i'm not i'm using an aqua marker uh and if you if you're new here i use these quite a lot this is a fine tipped one my wearing out because i use it quite yeah extra fine aqua trick marker they are and they disappear when you spray them with water and they're blooming amazing well in my opinion some people don't like them but i like them because you haven't got to use the iron or heat on your embroidery to get um to get rid of it so you spray a bit of water and it sort of plumps up your embroidery while whilst um whilst uh sort of getting rid of the um ink right i can hear reggie barking i don't know whether you can but my dad has just turned up to help harvey uh with with something for the camper right so i apologize if you can hear him he's going he's, he's just going bonkers because he, he loves my dad um right what i'm going to do is i've found that some scraps of liberty and i'm going to cut out i'm just going to pin that on i'm going to cut out a pa my, my head from the liberty fabric and i'm not going to actually uh yeah i am I was just thinking, shall I bond a web it to stop it fraying? But that means I'd have to set up all the flipping night. Oh, I could do. Mm. Let's have a thing. Let's have a thing. Let's have a think. Actually, let's get some bond web and we will. Uh, I'll be back. I won't be a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. This is when you have these moments and you think, I need, I must do that. So, what I'm going to do, let's move you out of the way. It's Bonderweb, if you don't know. Oh, this has come away from the paper. Is It's like a webbing glue, but it's on paper. And this is not attached to the paper at this moment. And what I shall do is I'm going to find a piece of... Um, I'll use the back of this just because I don't want to stick it to this so with the the glue side to attached facing to the wrong side of your work of your fabric you need to press it on okay just gently and I'm just going to move that then once I'm just going to cut out oh, I don't want to do that I want to get it off there don't I just going to take it off my pattern I don't want to put the pattern so you've got it stuck to your 
um, fabric. And what we'll do next is draw. Oh, where's the head gone? Hmm, where are we? Has it blown off? I stuck it to the. Oh well, not to worry. I will uh, draw another. Can anybody see it? <gasps> no, don't know. It's obviously blown off while I've been. Um, not to worry. I will draw another. Um, and I will just do if I can trace it on. Roughly, you won't be able to see. I just, it's the size wise, isn't it? Oh, it's here. No, it's, oh, it's here. Look, blown off there. Right, okay. Panic over, panic over. Right, I'm going to draw around the head. It doesn't matter which way round I do this, by the way. Uh, but if you're doing something and it needs to be a particular way around, remember to reverse the, reverse it, reverse the, you know, the stencil. Right, that's one. Not a good pen to be drawing it. Oh. It's actually not my dad. It's some um, somebody next door's having some building supplies delivered, and it's a uh, it's like a big lorry dropping stuff off. So that's what he's woofing at. It's so it's such an obnoxious little thing. Getting he's learned his he's got his voice and. And it's becoming a bit annoying. So I'm just going to draw around. I'm wondering if I've done enough. That'll be typical if I haven't. I'll try and get that. Doesn't matter if not. Just draw around carefully. You probably can't see these, but I'm just doing a rough outline. If I can squeeze them up, I'll get four in. Oh gosh, got sausage fingers this morning and I can't grab hold of anything. Another one in. I could probably draw these freehand, to be perfectly honest. But I just want them to be. There we go. Will I squeeze one on? Another one? Yay! That is. Um, let's see if I can do it that way. There you go. Things to be thankful for this morning. Will I squeeze it on? Yeah, just. So, in the true style, I've forgotten what I was talking about, forgotten where I'm going. Right, so I've got four little feet. I'm not going to do the little hair piece. I'll just put those feet away, legs away, because I'm going to lose them. I'll put them up there if I don't. And this is a little tail. Which, in all fairness, doesn't matter if it's not quite as wide. Just a little jelly bean. A little jelly bean shape. Well, an elongated. Right. Get rid of you up there. And I'm going to cut out each piece. Now... I would suggest using a pair of scissors that 
you don't mind cutting paper with and the reason for that is oh that's come off blooming heck the reason i'd say that is because these it will this will blunt your fabric scissors so please don't uh, use these best fabric scissors because it is paper based and then it's got glue on it which will stick to everything it'll get in your blades so that's my recommendation anyway i mean you if you're okay with doing but i tend to have a pair of scissors that is particularly for bonder web and interfacing because i can tell it's it, it like sticks you right so that is done just making sure yeah just gonna cut out every piece Sorry about that, I seem to have lost my, I think I knocked the um, the mouse and switched you all off. <laughs> and then I looked up and thought, oh, not recording. Right, so I'm cutting out all the pieces. You haven't missed anything, apart from me waffling about cutting out. So I will sort of say about cutting out, when you're cutting out small pieces, just move the paper or the piece rather than move your scissors around. Keep your scissors in going in one direction and move your um, a paper or fabric around it. It makes life so much easier. I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but it, it, it does. There we go. Right, so I've got my pieces, my little head. I won't put my head on yet, but I want to sort of put, I might put my, um, I'm just thinking how I'm going to do this. Let me just, let's just move everything out of the way. I'll put those there. So my paper's still on. I might use that in a minute. Uh, my paper's still on the back here. And what you do then is you peel the paper off. And this is bonded itself to the fabric. And then it's got another sticky side. And then once you are ready, you can pop that on and bond with the iron again. So it makes it uh, stick to your piece. And we're going to put, we are there, aren't we? Right, so I've got that. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put the legs on. I don't know whether you can see my outline very well. But I'm kind of having... Yeah, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna glue, stick my legs down now first because I want to put things on top. What I'm gonna do is I'm not going to. If you can't get it off, it, my is just give it a little tear there, and it should come off. Yeah. Right. Just. I'll go back to stop talking. You can cut out a piece of fabric and put that on using your template which is what i was going to do originally but then i realized i'd, I'd done an applique um one already and thought well that's another applique maybe i should do something else which i then found, thought what about these bits of lace how cute is that so that's what I thought I would do. I'm going to just have a quick look. Anyway, I'm going to have an, another little look, see what else I've got. Just so, just rip your fab, 
your little paper it doesn't rip the fabric it just rips the paper but it just makes life easier she says oh come on don't want to come off there we are I do love Liberty fabric I probably mentioned we're going to London next week at the end of the week Wednesday we're going Wednesday it's now Monday um, and I shall be going into Liberty of course to just have a little wander around see what's see what's what have a little stock up sell a kidney buy a, le a length of fabric <laughs> Dear. Right, I'm just going to where's my little thing. I'll just put this is stylized, so don't worry about it be it not looking. It's you know. And I'm just gonna put my little tail up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem when you go into liberties. Oh it's beautiful, but flipping neck is expensive. Right, just going to pop that on, just move that out of the way. When you're doing this, just remember to keep it straight, don't keep wafting it up and down. I've got the biggest iron in the world out, and because this is plugged in, and, and I can say, hey Google, big iron off. And it switches it off sure. for me. Turning off big iron. I know. Fancy, aren't I? <laughs> I'm not. My son set it up for me. I've actually got it on um on a uh oh, oh I've forgotten what I was saying. It's because I made myself laugh with it. I've actually got it on a uh a little thing where I can press a button but that's behind me and I can't I can't reach out and find and reach across to get it while I've got this on so I don't actually have to say but it's great because you know I can look at it on my phone in the app and wonder if I've left the iron on or the heated straighteners on anything like that so yeah I am all bougie <laughs> Oh dear. Now then, I'm going to get, I'm thinking this through, but like I say, you you could do um, your oat and put your oat on it. I mean, that would look super cute. Uh, just put that away. I've got some Wensleydale curls which I've got in a couple of different colours and I, I did think I could do it like that in fact I'm still tempted to do that mm. no I'm not I might do his little head bit though in it that would be cute wouldn't it um, you can do it with a bit of felt there's a myriad of things you can do but I'm just going to, I just want to fill in the gaps there and there. So I'm just cutting. This, this is that good old piece of uh, linen with the lace on the, that went on the back of the settee. This is this off it. This is a bit of trim off it. You can see. So it's coming in. It's coming in. I wonder if I put. No. I'm going to go under there. And I'm going to want a bit for there. I don't want to make that look like another. Not that it really matters. 
got a piece that's got cut out of it. Let's have a look. No. Shall I put that in? Yeah, I think that's okay. Although, yeah, I can put that there. I'm going to just pin that on and I'm going to tack it down or stitch it down. And I've got, oh, my tummy again. I've got some little pearly beads that I'm going to add as well. Because why the heck not? But I'm just going to take that down for now. Where are you? I did have a needle thread up, I've obviously not, is that it? No, that's not it. Anyway, I'll thread some more. I must have, uh, it, the needle will be in on the floor and I'll stand on it later. Find it in a bit. I've got a few pairs of scissors going on today. Right, so I'm just going to quickly put some little stitches in just to secure it and I, I'm just using a good old ma machine thread in matching you can do contrast do whatever you've got Like I say, you can fill in your part with anything. You might have a piece of. I did have another little bit of Liberty fabric which I was going to use, and then I, I saw the lace and thought, oh no, let's um, go completely off piece and have a go with that. It's always nice to get some different things out of you. Well, I'll call it stash. I call it a collection. I don't like to call it a stash. I don't know why. It just doesn't. Just don't like it. Just don't like that phrase. No idea why. See all kinds of memes, don't you? With the um, don't look at my fabric. Oh gosh, no, I'm not going to buy some more fabric. Do you know what? Who cares? Buy the fabric. But what I will say is if you buy it, use it. Don't let it sit there on a shelf looking at it. That would be my advice. Um, I tend to try not to buy brand new stuff anymore. That said, obviously I'm going to go in liberties. I'm going to we're going to the Stitch Festival, me and my daughter. So, excuse me while I have a slurp of my tea. Oh. So, um, yes, I'll be buying some things because I'm allowed. And then we're going to go to Liberties, as I say. And I, yes, I should probably be buying something from there. And I will be visiting some other little haberdasheries in London. If you know of any that we should uh, should be on the list, and we should be going. We're gonna we're staying near Camden. So 
we shall go Camden Market and that kind of area. I know um, Brick Lane. I would go to. Uh, oh my gosh, can't think. Go to. Um, Mm. No, brain's gone. You know when I come back in a minute, I'll I'll know what I'm, I mean. Covent Garden. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, menopause brain. I say it's menopause brain, but um, you know, I feel like I've always had that that thing where you walk into a room can't remember what you came for i think it's just a busy brain isn't it right look at that that's cute super cute oh i needed the iron on still didn't i because i'm doing uh i'm gonna pop his head on hey google big iron on okay turning on big iron i know bougie me Right, gonna pop his head on. Oh dear. What did we do before we had uh, Google and Alexa and all that? Oh, who knows? Oh, well, that's cute. Hopefully that will stick down, okay. Let's just give you a... doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to put some stitches in. Have you glued down? Yes. Yeah, you're there. Just give you a... I think I'll do it on the back just... Just because... There we go. No wonder I couldn't see my lines. I'd, I've got the... I'd got the um, fabric back to front. Oh. Oh. I could see that perfectly. Oh well. Oh well. Right. So just for texture, I'm going to add in some little pearly beads. Where did I finish up? And I'm okay with using this thread and this needle if it'll go through will it oh yeah my needles go through that's the only thing oh my goodness me it's come unthreaded just just pop a couple in and this is how to sort of get yourself oh i don't really want to go that close get yourself texturing your work just start adding little things in it like beads like sequins buttons that kind of thing different thread um thicknesses came across these in a charity shop unopened I was ecstatic <laughs> I mean they're nothing special they're just some plastic look alike pearly beads but hey probably saved myself a few pounds but it looks like Gertrude's been in them already They were cheap, and that's okay. I was going to put some grass on, or 
um, some little flowers, but I don't think it's going to need it. Oh, come on. To be honest, I think I might be okay without. Super cute, I'm going to actually get another piece of thread. Because I'm running out. Mm -hmm. Alright, have I got something? That'll do. That'll do. actually got a hole in <laughs> some of them where the where they look like they've been coated they've got no hole um, so oh good down there don't I? I'm just gonna go just gonna do a little stitch. Try not to run your stitches all the way across the back of your work, try and do some little tiny stitches that you can't see. And then your work doesn't come unraveled. Hopefully. nice I like it I'm just gonna do a couple of stitches in the back just to stop it from unraveling put you back in there yes I was gonna put some grass on but no I don't need to oh have a quick sip of my tea again. Oh. Ooh, lovely. I must say, the sun in here just makes a lovely cup of tea. Oh, Gertrude! Sorry, everybody. Did she, did she uh, make you jump like she does me? Now then, shall I go with that blue? which doesn't show up, or shall we have a little bit of this? If you're wondering what Wendeldale curls are, they are... It's wool from Wendeldale sheep. And... Um, I want to think... I can't think of the name of the lady that uh, does them. Uh, off the top of my head, I mean, in fact, I can't think of her at all. Can't think what she, who she is at all. Oh no, I can't. But I, I will if I can remember. If I remember, I will put her in the description. Put a link in the description. But she doesn't do very many. And I tend to pick these up when I'm when I go to a wool 
uh, show or wool gathering as they call them or Yarndale Yarndale's always good for things like that Right, I'm going to get some thread and get a bit of silk thread I think um, for this just because then you won't see when I stitch down but I suppose if you put Wensleydale curls into the Google search she will come up she's on Instagram so I'm literally just going to couch down with some tiny little stitches and I don't want to be flattening it head too much here you are hello You're such a nuisance. Do you know, if it isn't Reggie, it's you. She's been asleep. Because she had 2am zoomies, didn't you? Hmm? Woke me up. Crazy. You went crazy, didn't you? Right, no. Gertrude, you're going to get a needle through your ear if you're not careful. If you do the tiniest little stitches, you won't see them. You might want to see yours. I'm just trying to not let Gertrude get stabbed with the um, paint needle. I've got Gertrude here on it. The, only th the other thing I'll say about Bonder Web is it's quite difficult to get your needle through because it's glue. Right, you got to get out of the way, madam. Oh, and pins everywhere. Ah, <gasps> oh, dear me. <laughs> Go and, yeah, just sit there. Yeah, it's glue and it, it does stop your needle going through. So you just might want to be mindful as well about what needle you're using. You know, if you've got some that costs you a lot of money, not that needles do, but there are some out there. Right, okay. I'm going with that, that looks cute. A bit of a lock stitch. That looks cute, doesn't it, Gertrude? Hmm? Cute so far. Right, let's do some eyes. And I'm just wondering if black will show up yet. I'm going to do a couple of French knots for eyes. And then like a little smiley. Oop. Go over there a bit, I think. I don't know where to put them. There. That'll be fine. I don't know why I'm overthinking it. <laughs> because I do. You know the thought process. It's it's um what have you done now? Hmm? You can see can't you that I'm go what I'm going through. Right then, so a little black nose and I think it it comes down, doesn't it, into like a a V. Oh she's just knocked over that oh my goodness me.
an upside down V or kind of a a Y shape. I wonder if I do. If I do like a fly stitch. So I'm going to come across and then back up. Mm. I seem to have no plan. There we are, that's it. No plan. Stan. Is that right, do you think? Yeah. So, I'm just going to tie a knot in that. I probably should have done it in a bit thinner thread, but that's what I had. The only black I've got. It's not something I use. Right. I'm hoping she hasn't uh, stopped the video. She hasn't. Oh, come out of the way so we can finish them. I'm stopping at that because Gertrude obviously feels like it's her domain here. Can you see she's leaning into me? <laughs> oh dear. So, ha if you've enjoyed this video, as always, give it the thumbs up. If you just want to say hello to Gertrude, please comment. You know, she, she loves to be in the limelight. Uh, it's her thing as you might have gathered by now if you're regular um the moment the camera rolls she's here so yeah give us the thumbs up gertrude and i and little reggie and uh, please subscribe if you're new and you want to see more cat cat action <laughs> it's a catastrophe oh dear and i will see you again soon happy stitching everyone